All right, welcome back to Mobility Monday. We're gonna work on the IT band today. So I'm gonna set this up with different tools you can use to help get some relief or get some more movement, hip flexibility in that IT band. So we'll start with a foam roller. Kind of get into a modified pigeon. So you want kind of like this leg at 45 degrees. Let's start off with a foam roller, kind of high up towards the knee. And you just want to kind of move around whatever you can, side to side, get as much pressure on that, what we would call the IT band. So the side of that quad, what we're, all we're really doing is affecting the quad and the hamstring muscles around that IT band. We're trying to get those to relax by getting some soft tissue on them. Spend some time, move around. After about 30 seconds to a minute, move up more. You can always move your back leg back to add some extra stretch. Whatever you need, you feel like you're most comfortable. But we're just trying to get some time in on that IT band or the muscles that surround it. That's the best way you're gonna get it. Another thing you can also do is just do a regular soft tissue smash on your quads. And I'm just gonna slowly keep working my way down that IT band to my glute, spend some time here. I'm just gonna keep modifying, moving up, moving around on that IT band. Now, if I was continue to stay with a foam roller, I would just work my way down towards my glute. But I wanna show you other modifications. So if you use a foam roller, now, if you don't have a foam roller, maybe you have a softball. This would be a little more fine too. We're gonna to put that softball right in that area. Just spend time moving around, trying to get those hot spots. Spots that are sensitive, stay on those longer. So just, you can contract, flex into it, and then relax. Take your deep breaths. After some time, let's move that ball down. It's probably gonna be a little more sensitive than the foam roller. Foam roller is probably just a good way to start it if your quads or your legs are really sensitive to the IT band. This is gonna be a little more fine tuned. Again, just keep moving that ball down, spend some time there, let's work around. Another option is if you, had, if you didn't have a softball, two lacrosse balls taped together. So we're just trying to cover as much surface area as we can. Just gonna lean for as much as I can, spend time. You're also getting in some good hip flexibility stretch and that modified pigeon, if you need to turn up, that back leg is the level that's gonna turn up. So the more you bring it back behind you, the more you're gonna feel it in that stretch. Just keep moving on it, keep working your way up on that IT band. All right, once you've done at least three to four minutes each side of your IT band, a good stretch option would be to put your leg, your hip, up on the side of a platform, jump back, Move in and out 10 times to your range of motion. After 10, look over the shoulder. Move in and out for 10. All that's doing is changing the angle of my hip. So we're gonna again, move out and out for 10, and then we're gonna look away in and out for 10 again. And again, if you wanna feel more, the further that back leg comes back, the more stretch you're gonna feel. I hope this helps with your IT band. Get after it.